All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of 3 plus a squared is equal to 392. So I obviously want to find the value of a here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation here. So I get a to the power of 3 plus a squared is equal to 392. And now I'm going to subtract 392 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And this then turns into a to the power of 3 plus a squared minus 392 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite negative 392 as negative 343 minus 49. And the reason I did this was because 343, this is, this is something cubed, and 49 is something squared. And notice how we have something cubed, something squared. So I'm going to change the order of this. Actually, first, I should rewrite 343 as 7 cubed and 49 as 7 squared. So we have a cubed plus a squared minus 7 cubed minus 7 squared. Sorry, this is 0. And now I'm going to change the order of this to group the cubes and then group the squares. So I have a to the power of 3 minus 7 to the power of 3 plus a squared minus 7 squared is equal to 0. Now, here are two properties that we're going to use for this. So to start, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3, sorry, actually I should do x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3, this is equal to x minus y times x squared plus y squared plus xy. And now if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. So in this case, x is equal to a and y is equal to 7. We're going to first start by rewriting a to the power of 3 minus 7 to the power of 3 in this form. So this is going to be equal to a minus 7 times a squared plus 7 squared plus 7 times a, which is just 7a. And now I have this plus x squared minus y squared. This is x plus y times x minus y. So it's going to equal a plus 7 times a minus 7. And this is all equal to 0. Now notice how both of these terms have a common factor of a minus 7. So if I factor out a minus 7, I get a minus 7 times a squared plus 7 squared plus 7a plus a plus 7 is equal to 0. And this simplifies to a minus 7 times a squared plus 8a plus 49 plus 7, and 49 plus 7 is 56. So this is equal to 0. Now from here, I get two equations. I get a minus 7 is equal to 0, and I get a squared plus 8a plus 56 is equal to 0. So for a minus 7 equals 0, I can add 7 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get a equals 7. And for a squared plus 8a plus 56 is equal to 0, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 8, and c is 56. So I get a is equal to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so a squared minus 4 times 1 times 56 all over 2a. 
and this is equal to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 8 squared, which is 64, minus 4 times 56, which is 224, all over 2. And this turns to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of negative 180. And notice how we get the square root of a negative number, so this will not work. So, our only solution is A equals 7. So now to check, the original equation was a to the power of 3 plus a squared is equal to 392. So we have a equals 7. So I get 7 to the power of 3 plus 7 squared is equal to 392. Now, 7 to the power of 3 is 343, and 7 squared is equal to 49. So I have 343 plus 49 is equal to 392, meaning 392 is equal to 392.